Praise the Lord. God bless you and welcome in to Freedom Gospel Church. I am Senior Pastor Shaltina. Welcome in to Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus is Lord. With us tonight is our own uh, Pastor Angel of Freedom Gospel Church who will lead us in a while in prayer. Um, behind me is my beloved daughter. Again, behind me is my beloved daughter. Deacon is um, ethereal. And, um, and those around the world, God bless you and welcome in. This is another wonderful night here at Freedom Gospel Church. And Jesus is Lord. There's nobody better than our King. So God bless you. Let me say this. Maybe you're not a believer tonight. I need to let you know that we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe in the fact that he was conceived by a virgin called Mary. I need to make it abundantly clear that we saturate the atmosphere tonight with the blood of Jesus. So, Guten Abend, Ola y todos. Oh, yes, me nasai. God is worthy of the praise. Give me a second. I only have three HUDs on. I'm just going to use the three that I have. I don't even know which ones I have on, but God's got it. And you only have to take them if you want them. You don't have to take them. I'm standing pretty flat-footed tonight.
God. God bless you and welcome into another revival night here at Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus is Lord. We look forward to a magnificent time together. Uh, Associate Pastor Deborah is making her way. She's having some SL woes. Many of our members have real life family members over tonight. So we pray that you come in and are blessed by what the Lord has for us tonight. We are again just honored to be in your presence. I thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful opportunity to serve your people. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought us out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and glad in it. Welcome again to Freedom Gospel Church. God bless you with Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for this night of Advent. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> I'm going to start passing a note card out. I don't know where God's going to take me with it, but y'all can hold on to it and pray for me. Jesus opens doors that we don't even see. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know how God is going to do it, but I know he's going to do it right on time. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus will.
Hallelujah. Make room. Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. Make room for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in your Christmas. In the midst of our weariness, we can rejoice because our joy is found in Jesus Christ. And Jesus wants us to experience real, deep, lasting joy. A joy that will not grow dim despite what's going on around us. Oh, yes. So God bless you and welcome in. We're going to open up right now with prayer. Pastor Angel is going to give us the prayer. I'll be preaching tonight from the gospel according to Luke chapter 2 verse 10. From the New Amplified Standard Bible, I'm going to do what God says do and take a seat. God bless you to those that are coming in. God bless you and welcome in. Daughter Deaconess uh, Ethereal, are you able to read that for us? Let me know. Thank you and please. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, good. If you could do the opening prayer and then we'll have Associate Pastor Deborah come behind and do what she does. Thank you so very much, daughter. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. All right. Associate Pastor Deborah, you wanted to be down there? Okay. Or did you need a TP? Associate Pastor Deborah, is your microphone on? Or do you need a TP? Okay. I was looking for you and I, then I realized where you were. Uh, TP is coming. Amen. Praise
praise God. Praise the Lord again and welcome in to Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus is Lord. It's another Tuesday revival night here at Freedom Gospel Church. And we ask you to make room in your hearts and your family for Jesus is Lord. We pray that you're getting more than the tree, more than presents, but you receive his presence into each of your hearts, your minds, and your soul. And if there's someone tonight that needs to have this ultimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be delighted to lead you to our Savior and our dearest friend, Jesus the Christ, tonight. Um, we're giving, a, there we go, Associate Pastor Deborah is here. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So she will give us some wonderful praise music. I <laughs> yeah, you probably need to start, sis, you need to start your, close your mic and restart it. You're, you're breaking up. Associate Pastor Deborah, she's breaking up. To start, stop your mic and start it again, sis, please, and thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Good to see you, Sin. Merry Christmas. All right, let's let her microphone calm down. It's probably from the TP. She's still, um, her computer is still catching up to her. All right. Yay, hallelujah, there she is, there she is, high school is high school, now we're good. All right, Hello? we got you, that's it, you're all fixed now. Right. You're right all right, hallelujah. All right, it takes a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still breaking up for y'all? She's breaking up for me, but it's going to ease up in a minute. Give her a minute. Yeah, hold up. Hold up, sis. You're still breaking up. Hold up. Father God, we saturate the atmosphere in the name of Jesus, Lord. We saturate the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. There's um, icy rain and, and snow over in Canada, so she's fighting against all of that to be here tonight. So hold on, everybody. Hold on. Just let, let our computer catch up to us. It's all good. I'm going to take my drum off to see if that helps. And because um, uh, she did have a hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Not tonight. Not tonight. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. All right, so if you back up a little bit, sis, from the people, I think that'll be better for, there you go. It's better for your computer. Amen. Yeah, you're getting clearer now. Hold on. Don't go too close to, oh, Lord, she done ran down by him. Okay. Yeah, but you were better when you were at the top when you weren't near the people. If you come back up here. Yeah, that's the thing is your computer can't res in all those people. Yeah, stay right there. Come back and stay right on the step. Yeah, that's where you went. And that's when it started really acting up. So just be right there. That's good.
<laughs> okay, is it clear now? It seems to be clearing up now. Now you're better. You're better now. Yep. Now, now you're clear. You're still breaking up. You're still breaking up. Yeah, I think you're going to have to re-log. We'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. It's okay. All right. We got you. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. So she'll be right back. God is good. Joy, joy, God's great joy, 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 down in my soul, sweet, beautiful, soul-saving joy, oh, joy, joy, joy in my soul. She'll be right back, everybody, so just bear with us. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <sighs> Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 Lord, you're worthy. We thank you for another amazing night here at Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus, you're always Lord. We thank you tonight for those that had a desire to be here, but they are 
full of Christmas joy and they're getting all the last minute things done, God. And they have family over and they're cooking and they're cleaning and they're doing all of those things. But Lord, we just pray tonight that everyone just makes room for Jesus in their homes and in their hearts. Lord, you're the resilient Savior. You lead us and guide us, Lord. We're holding on to our faith with ever-growing love and humility as we serve you, God. Thank you for another night, another beautiful night that we can come together and celebrate that you, Lord, are the Lord of our life. For the few minutes that are ours, because we can always let her sing at the end. Um, daughter, can you pass the note cards out? Amen, amen. Everybody just hold what you have. God bless you. Um, I'm passing the wrong note card, so I have to find my note card. This is when I'm doing too much. <laughs> But God is good. All right. God bless you, those coming and going, and those uh, for the first time visiting. I'm Senior Pastor Shaltina. We praise God for your presence tonight. In the midst of our weariness, we can rejoice because our joy is found in Christ. God wants us to experience real, deep, lasting joy. A joy that will not grow despite what is going on around us. And so the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. And we are all part of that. Tonight, the sermon will be as short as I can make it. The fearless exodus. The fearless exodus. It wasn't about the year 2015 that we were studying the book of Exodus and now we're all the way in the book of Romans come tomorrow. But tonight I just want to preach on the subject, the fearless exodus. So hallelujah, get ready to kiss 2023 goodbye. I know all of us will be glad to see the end of 2023. Get ready to step into the most incredible time in biblical and Bible history. We shall be slaying in the spirit and walking by the power of his might. You see, Jesus was born in a manger to a virgin called Mary. However, I submit to you tonight, our glorious King Jesus is fearless. He was fearless when he hung on a cross. He was fearless when he died for our, all of our sins. He was fearless when he was mocked and scorned and talked about and lied upon and denied. Our Savior Jesus is fearless. So if he is fearless and we are his witnesses on this planet called earth, we too must become fearless. 2024 is the year God will equip us like never before to share the word of God with the entire world. That's our purpose tonight. So how are you preparing this Advent season? Have you been praying and fasting, communicating with the Father in real and tangible ways? Have you remembered him beyond meal times and hospital visits and doctor's appointments? Have you been having intimate conversations with the one who is our ultimate healer, Jehovah Rapha? Have you been sharing his life story, his journey, his purpose, and his plan for our lives? Oh, come tonight at this revival, Tuesday night. Oh, come, let us adore him. There are some things each of us must let go. And that's why I'm having an interesting evening. For some, you're going to have to let go of some places. For some of us others, you'll have to let go of some things. And still for others of us, we're going to have to let go of some people. So the divine revelation 
in the scriptures is progressive. We're talking about Exodus. I know we're saying, oh, we said we're going to talk about Luke. We're going to get there. And I'm going to put it up one more time from the new Amplified Standard Bible. And it says, and so the angel said to them, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all people. The divine revelation in the scriptures is progressive and it's unfolding. It develops book by book and chapter by chapter. The 66 books of the Bible were written over a period of about 1600 years. And during this long period, God did not speak once for one specific time. Rather, he spoke to his people progressively, like tonight, time after time, over a long period of time. God wants each of you to know tonight that you are loved. God wants each of you to know that he has made a way for all of you to be redeemed. You see, we've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are excited tonight to share that love with each of you. God shall not be mocked. I'm often in awe of how God continues to bless us and change us and restore us. He is loving and kind. In Colossians 1.25, Paul said that he was made a minister according to the economy of God to complete the word of God. You see, at that time, Paul, God's revelation in the scriptures had not been completed. Thus, there was a need for Paul to take up the burden and to speak and to write in order to complete the word. It is John's writing in the book of Revelation, however, that marks the completion of the divine revelation of the scriptures. And because the revelation is complete, we are warned neither to add nor to take away from the words of God's revelation. Revelation 22, 18 and 19. Now that God's progressive revelation in the scriptures has been completed, No one is permitted to add to it. What we need today is to read, to study, and to search the Bible progressively step by step. We say God bless you because the son that we represent is the Lord Jesus Christ. I tell you, I've been studying the book, it seems, all of my life. And spiritual experience is very different than book experience. When you've had a real God experience, you'll find that when God touches you, you never forget it. When Jesus touches a heart, it is marvelous when it's changed. There is a complete reversal to where you started. I'm praying tonight that some of you will choose an exit, an exodus, and be fearless to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you tonight for coming by Freedom Gospel Church where Jesus is Lord. God wants to give each of us an inheritance and he has a detailed picture for the success stories that we all will tell. I praise God tonight for the redemption of my soul by the blood of Jesus Christ. You see, although Jacob eventually was transformed into Israel, a prince of God, there is no recording regarding Jacob's experience of redemption. You can only get redemption through the blood of Jesus Christ. So you might have come in tonight as one of the chosen people, one of the Jewish people. God bless you. I want you to know there is still No other way into heaven except through the blood of Jesus Christ. In the Exodus, they tied two of the lamb's legs to the foot of the cross and fastened the outstretched legs to the crossbar. 
Following this, the lamb was slain so that all of its blood was shed. I'm teaching right now how Exodus comes to play in the right now. You see, Jesus is our lamb of God. And he sacrificed so much for all of us to be redeemed. I want you tonight to think about being in the Lord's care. I know, of course, in your general way of walking in life, you want to do it all your way. But God wants to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. I would love if some of you that don't know Christ would come to know him tonight. See, the Lord's presence is already here. I dare you to come and just say, what must I do to be saved? We're not worried about the church building, although we're here as Freedom Gospel Church. We're worried about the temple, which houses the Holy Spirit. We want to make sure that you have a spiritual God experience in your individual life. That you are getting more, hallelujah, than just gifts for family members and children and grandchildren and mothers and fathers. But that you have the gift of everlasting life, hallelujah. That is the ultimate gift that Jesus brought for us. He completed everything so that we could have the basic right to obtain eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to thank God for you taking the time to be here today. I don't know if associate pastor is on the way back, but I'm almost done. You see, I've only come tonight because of my Savior. I only came because of the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the whole world. I only came because there's somebody in this room that's sick that needs to be delivered. I only came because there's somebody in this room that needs to be encouraged, that has been hurting and broken and lost. I came tonight because I'm a messenger for the Lord Jesus Christ. I came to tell you that he is a savior. First Timothy 4 and 10. For therefore we labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. It is not easy even being a Christian. It means that we too suffer. The word of God says if we suffer with him, we'll also be glorified with him. We're talking about the redeemer that we know lives. We're not talking about the little baby in the manger. We're talking about the risen Christ on this Christmas season. I need you to know he's more than just the baby. Hallelujah. I need you to know that he's sitting at the right hand of God, the father. Job 19 and 25 says, for I know that my redeemer liveth and he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. I knew that this day would be a most interesting day. I knew like Job that I would go through a few extra things this week and I'm grateful to God for each thing. I knew this week that I ha would have to depend on my bread of life, Jesus, to sustain my life. He does it every day. It is fresh and good bread. You see, Jesus said this in John 6 and 35. And Jesus said unto them, I'm the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth in me shall never thirst. I come because I've been fed with the word of God. And so I'm feeding it back to you. I come tonight to let you know Jesus is Lord. And I come to celebrate the fact that tonight I'm making a fearless exodus. I'm leaving the church in good hands. And I say, thanks be to God. The journey has been amazing. God never fails. I'm leaving everything in the hands of the Lord. 
just as in John 21 and 7. Therefore, that disciple whom we all know, Jesus loves, saith unto Peter, it is the Lord. I come tonight, even in my weakest hubris, to let you know Jesus loves you. He's the creator. Has thou not heard? Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? Neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. With that said tonight, I leave you with this word and we will put it back in the hands of Associate Pastor Deborah. I'm making a fearless exodus as I tomorrow go under the knife and whatever else they decide I have to do. I'm coming back stronger. I'm coming back fearless. But I need you to know my soul is anchored and it's resting in the Lord. Oh, yes, I'm talking a fearless exodus. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. And remember, I started with the gospel according to Luke. That's how I'm going to finish. Because in the midst of my weariness tonight, I can rejoice in the joy that's found in Christ. I thank God for every member of Freedom Gospel Church that's standing with me, behind me, beside me, and more. They're lifting up Jesus. And so, Luke chapter 2, verse 10. And so the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. And we turn it now in the hands of Associate Pastor Deborah and Pastor Angel to close us out in their own way. I'm Senior Pastor Saltina, and I'm making a fearless exodus in Jesus' name.